And uh, that's the Shinola on that one. All right. Now, I would like to address this arts funding issue. Now, this all reminds me of a humorous story of the traveling salesman. <clears throat> Let's say that the taxpayer is a farmer and the government is a salesman. Well, the farmer says, you can spend the night in my barn, but do me a favor, don't stick your willy into any of the three holes in the wall. <laughs> well, in, in this case, the salesman's willy represents the taxpayer's money, you understand. Well, the government, like the salesman, can't help himself. Sticks his willy in the first hole, it feels good. Sticks his willy in the second hole, it feels even better. Sticks his willy in the third hole, and it hurts like hell, and it won't let go. Well, in the morning, the farmer comes out, and he explains. Behind the first hole was my wife. Behind the second hole was my daughter. And behind the third hole was a milking machine that don't let go till it gets 50 gallons. <laughs> Gentlemen, I propose that this arts funding is like a milking machine, and unless we shut it down, it's going to rip our dicks right off. Tonight's show is brought to you by the new U.S. government, improving the arts by severely limiting them.